Hello, I'm Robert. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform the inner beauty of your soul into a timeless pencil drawing using paper. This is my first video upload to my new channel, so if you enjoy the video or learn something useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and especially click that subscribe button to see many, many more things in the future. I'm always open to suggestions or comments on current videos or ideas for future videos. So don't be shy. Okay, and to do this, you'll only need three things. A pencil, paper, and a sole. Uh, when I'm drawing wolves, I always like to get started with the head. It's the most important part of the body for any animal. So we're going to start with the round dome uh, of the cranium. And we're going to go ahead and extend that line down to what's going to become the neck uh, towards the end of the drawing here. So we're going to go now to the muzzle. And what we're going to do here is keep this all one smooth line. Um, and the reason for that is it takes a lot of basically the skill that you would need um, to you know to use another technique, um, and that just leaves a lot more time and energy for the beauty of your soul to be poured into this work. So the next thing I like to do now that we've got the foundation, as you can see here, head, neck, um, we're going to go ahead and add the ears. These basically what I like to picture is. So wolves are part of nature, they're part of mother nature, and so are mountains. So we're going to pretend that these ears are mountains. And that creates a very realistic shape to the ears, and it also helps tie everything together in a more naturalistic, spiritual way as well. But the really important thing to remember when you're drawing natural creatures um, is that the eyes are the window to the soul, okay? Alright, that's great. I like that. Uh, the next thing, this is for a wolf in particular, any carnivorous animal, the canines are a very important part of the physique. So basically what we're doing there is extending the mountain concept and creating an entire range uh, within the muzzle, the muzzle canal uh, here, if you will. Um, so this looks great at this point. I would be willing to publish this as it is, but being the perfectionist that I am and that I'm sure you guys are, we're going to go ahead and finish it off with some uh, shading and some of the minor details. To do this we're going to use uh, what's called the grob thomber technique. So you'll take your pencil horizontally, grasp it firmly with your thumb and forefinger of your dominant hand right up near the tip there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and tilt it this way. So now we have a just a, a real sturdy base to do some shading with. All right. Looks like, uh, oh, that's great. Right. You know, with this technique, you got to remember to apply firm, equal pressure, just to make sure that it doesn't slip out of your grip. All right, and that's great. Uh, this at this point, this is ready to go to Instagram. Um, I'm very happy with this. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope that you'll be able to apply some of these techniques to your own drawings. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, uh, you, you definitely know how to get a hold of me, and I'm always available uh, 24 hours a year, so don't, don't feel ashamed. All right, thank you guys, and have a great day.